Yeah, so this is the play. It's a MIDI and audio sequencer sandbox. It has so it it's a 64 up to 64 steps of MIDI or samples that you can sequence. You load your samples from the SD card, and it's a unique approach to to sequencing and making music. And it's fun and fast. And so I'll just show you really quick, kind of a track I made that um, and how I did it. So this is the sample based grid. You have a lot of options as far as chance. Um, you can randomize all kinds of different things on here. I'll just take these hi-hats and um, I've got different repeats on the hi-hats that are, like there's all these different ways you can kind of use it. Um, and I'll just load up a, just a new pattern to kind of show you what I would do. So this is the grid. You can place anything on the grid you want in at any place. So like I could add a kick drum. And, and the, all your, the sound sources are all samples? They are, yeah. And I'll add a kick and just a snare, and I'll just put them on the same track because I can. And then, you know, you can adjust the, the like decay time and the sample start and end and the attack. And um, I'll just select this track and like throw in some, some hi hats. And then I can, there's a live record mode, so I can like live record different, different samples in the folder onto that track. And then I could add... So what you just did there was you're just changing the sample as it goes. Yeah, yeah, I just hit record and then change the sample. And you can see it. And then, you know, then change it. And I'm using the hats of the hi-hat folder. I could go to all my samples and like live record and it could just be anything I've loaded into the into the sample pool and I could random I could just kind of record that. And then I have actually that sounds sounds kinda of cool. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> um, and then I could you know I could copy and I'll just copy it and paste it. Oh, I missed the copy. Again on this track. Maybe I'll move it. I'll move it, and then I'll move it off the grid a little bit. And I, you know, it's per track swing, so I can swing this second track. And then I'll randomize this. I'll just record some different samples. Actually, there's a randomize option, so I'll just do that. So I can randomize the samples in the folder. I'll just solo this one. I don't like that. I could do it, which randomizes every parameter of the, the sample, or I could, you know, change which sample I'm on and a new path. But you could build up a track, could, like just yeah. randomize pretty quickly. Yeah, that one didn't work out as well as, as the first one, <laughs> but. That's um, all part of the fun, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I was like, oh, it's all gonna just random, be randomized and perfect. But you know, you can, you could take that second track, and there's also a chance action. So I could, you know, set it to like maybe that track that that plays 10% of the time, and then randomize it. And then if I like the randomization on this. This track that's only playing 10%. I'll make it play 50%. And then if I if that randomization dis, randomization disappears when I exit out of it, or I can hit save, and I can apply that all that randomization to the track. I'm doing it. And then and then I there's a performance mode so I can perform with this. Uh, so this is the select button, so I can select the tracks that I want to uh, change in perform mode. Like, 
All these are different effects you can add. You can punch into your track. And then this is like different repeats. And you know, different um, rearrange how the tracks play back. You can add distortion and overdrive. And then kind of um, and just like mess around with the track and then when I exit it like say I add a filter. I gotta select the track on everything. And then I just hit perform and it's back to it's non-destructive the perform mode. Oh okay. what I ed edit in there. And yeah, it's just really good at making like uh, really fast tracks that actually sound pretty good and are unique. It's like I think it gets you out of like your routine and uh, helps you make something like different. Something and new and different that you yeah. might not have thought of in the first yeah. place. Exactly. And like it has a song mode. So this is this is the pattern mode. And if I hit pattern, any of these uh, buttons can be a separate pattern. There's also variations. So I can change the variation on each track up to 16 variations. So I could push this push this variation button, push here, and I have a different you know pattern for these uh, these little hi hats that I have here. I can change them. Um, and then if I go into the pattern mode, where I can play a different pattern here. So once my sequence goes through, and you'll see on this track, I've got different the sequences, the tracks. Each track can play back at a different time or a different number of steps. Like I could edit this and change the track length here to like, you know, I could do like just a few, like six steps, and then. I could, or I could change it to 64. Um, you know, you can get, you can also change that track's swing and its speed. So you could get true, you can get true poly rhythms as well as poly, not just poly meters, like a lot of sequencers. Um, and then you can have a song mode too. There's a song mode where you can change these pat chain these patterns together. And all you have to do is hit shift and play song. And now I'm playing my, now it's sequencing. You'll see that one's flashing. It changed to that one. And it will loop through these that I have chained together. So I can just go into perform mode and kind of play around with this. And then it's just playing my whole song. So it's playing back your song, but you're you're performing the song right, yeah, at the same exactly. time. Exactly. So, so I can just, you know, destroy it here. And then, you know, it's still cycling through that little, that pattern that I made. So it looks and like a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. That's, it was designed not to be the most, not to pack everything into it, but to take everything that's fun and fast and just make music with it. And it, it works. Yeah, well that's great. And Clean. I know they've been available for a little while, right? Yeah, they've been out since uh, May. Yeah. And what do they sell for? It's uh, $7.99 US. All right. Thanks a lot, Mitch. Yeah, thanks.